Hi guys, part two. So, interesting. Part two of this wonderful channeling. Where are we going to go next with this, Patrick? Where are we going to go next with this channeling? Let's have a sit back into ourselves. Let me sit forward a bit. Because I'm miles away from you. Um, we've just had some fun in part one. We've just found, yeah, we enjoyed it. If, you, if you're watching this out of sequence, which I know sometimes people do... Make sure you get part one in because that was really interesting. It probably makes sense. It always makes sense because everything's like a book follows on. So, Patrick Bronte, Patrick Bronte. He's now showing me him as a father with the young, with them as all of the children as youngsters. And he's saying how proud he's always been of his children. And one of his issues with Bramble was more frustration than... I want to say then anger. There was an anger that he felt as though he could have been better or done better. It was more, more also as well anger at himself. And he says many parents that whose children suffer addiction feel this feeling. He said in episode one about sitting and saying to the child, what do you want from me? And being open to them saying whatever they need from you not about finances or anything like that but about emotional support what do you need from me as a parent what can i do because often when we've got somebody with addiction it's we just assume that we know best or that our belief system is the one that can get us through it or them through it and it doesn't work like that he's now taking me to branwell's work because he was all he was a mason was branwell there's concerns over that Masonic Lodge. Um, show me the Masonic Lodge. Pressure. It didn't fit in there neither. It feels as though he was exploited there. He's showing me somebody that was high up in that lodge that was a real bully and I'm seeing him. Honestly, like an older man, 50s, fluid complexion, is it? It's red and it's like chunky cheeks like that and it's grey hair and, and the, the sideburns. Um, he smells really sweaty as well. And he feels as though he's somebody of trust within the community, but he's up to no good. I don't believe that. I'm not having that. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm trying to make light of them. I'm trying to make light of the moment. He's up to no good. Yeah. I'm seeing Patrick in his, in his study now and there was a lot of concerns going, he had so many concerns about, he saying I actually cared, he cared about, it was off because the job that he had, he was like father to the flock, don't get triggered by that because that's how they saw themselves and they were father to the flock, the flock as in the, the flock of parishioners, and the parishioners, so when you become vicar priest, whatever it is, your first duty, I don't know if this is true, but I mean, this is what he's telling me, your first duty, and this is something to do with training as well, he's saying, is to your parishioners, is, is to the flock. Your first duty is to the flock. He's saying with me, with most priests, they would have had a wife that would have kept his flock at home safe, flock at home nourished, educated, balanced, while he looked after the parishioner flock if that makes sense but because his wife had died there was nobody there apart from the, the maids the servants etc and that's not mummy that's not mama that's not the mother that's not daddy that's not papa that's a maid a servant and for although it was helpful having them there it's still not your blood parent it's still not your parent your mother your father he says that's where a lot of also some of the issues came in with the dynamics but again let's not judge it because that was making the full story of what they needed to be the Brontes. 
But he's saying that actually to be a parent, it takes 100% dedication. And one of the concerns he's got with the modern world is that we've not got that. We've not got that. People work, mums work now, dads work now, both parents do full-time jobs. And he says you've got parents looking after parents, parents looking after their parents, parents look working. And it's just awful. And this isn't him talking about judgment. This isn't talking because he's done it himself. And that's how it starts to fragment. He's saying if he could live his life again as that incarnation, he'd walk away from the church. He'd walk away from the church. I actually don't think he likes that worth. I don't feel he likes Haworth. I think he's concerned about Haworth and the environment for his children. He would have walked away. I have a feeling he'd even gone back to Ireland. Would he gone back to Ireland? I made mean, the word Wales. Wales. Did you have any connection? We'll have a Google afterwards. I'll, I'll Google privately. Um, Because the warning signs are there in childhood, he's saying because, bless Bramwell, here we go again. <laughs> he's showing me Bramwell as a little boy being very attention seeking, very hard work, a handful, too hot tan. He's just like, you're the, the, he's, he's actually saying he could be quite precocious at times. He's, it was quite precocious and it, it was cute because he was young and he was little and ginger hair and ginger curls and little glasses and it was cute. But it just went bloom when he was an older man and that cuteness turns in on itself. And obviously that when they were younger that's when the mother was dying. Have you got any advice or guidance for parents today whose children are struggling with addiction issues? Queen of Pentacles, something with, yeah. Remember this is a man from Victorian period. I'm gonna say what I'm seeing. He's showing me the emperor at the bottom, which is the father. The emperor is the father. This is a Victorian man. We know now it'd be, it'd be King of Pentacles or Queen of Two Equals. But he's saying, he's actually saying no play, say it as it is, there's a lot of errant fathers out there that are not, that even maybe they're physically but not mentally or emotionally. He says we mustn't butter, we mustn't sugarcoat it. We, you, we, he's not telling me off but he's like saying no you must, you must say it as it comes. Because otherwise there's no need, there's no point in channeling if you're going to, if you're going to filter it. And the Queen of Pentacles, it starts with the parents. It starts in childhood, he's saying this is from his own experiences as well. The mother and the father. He's also saying the, the emperor card is also about strict fathers. So we've got strict fathers, he says, like myself, that or fathers that have a strict tendency, or fathers that are errant, or mothers that are strict. That's interesting. He's also drawing my card to the Queen of Pentacles and the fact she's got grey hair. Um, sometimes the focus on this camera works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, older mothers as well. Is that a good thing, older mothers? Mothers being older. Older mothers. Yeah. Yeah, something about older mothers, because we've got the Ten of Pentacles. He said it's not just about physical age, it's about wise heads. He says many people have children that are not wise. It's not just about, you've got, in order to be a good mum, you've got to be an old mum. He said it's wise heads, it's a wise head, okay. Nurture starts from the children, so it's nurturing them as children. Um, 
because what happens is we see it too late and they're adults and it, it's very hard when they're adults you can't you can't repro no, it's not about reprogramming as in toxicity she's not talking about that but it's about when you have a child you program the child but everything you say to a child you're programming it for the good the bad the ugly and then all of a sudden it's like <clears throat> and off it goes wants me to pull an, an angel card, that's it. <laughs> I just need me to pick up this card, right? This deck. And the card at the bottom is Sheribam. I probably said it wrong. It is what it is. Look to the stars, accept keys keys and codes of stellar wisdom. But it's an angel with a little you see your angel with a little angels, baby angels, cherubs. See how it works. Card Give me a card, Patrick Monte. The smell of cigars as well around him. He's saying, he's saying he's just had a meeting um, with other people, other, other other men of the church, and some have smoked cigars, some have smoked um, pipes. Archangel Jeremiah, learn from your challenges, relax and trust. Parents need to chill as well. Parents need to relax and learn from their own mistakes. Learn from their own mistakes and go back and realise it's not even about learning what worked for you, but remembering what you were like as a child as well. Reconnecting into your inner child. Act with wisdom. Use information for the highest of good. Learn, learn from your, relax and trust. Learn from your challenges. I'm seeing the parent and the little child, the dove, When you need help as well, ask for help. Blessed be. Let's let that music is blessed be. Patrick, can we have another card for those watching, please? He's actually saying this is very interesting that we've got obviously a man priest, and looking priest, and he's sat here, there's tarot, there's, there's crystals. This is what's more, he's saying there was more to me than you all know. And he's showing me that the, the lights out when in the parsonage and them talk. He says, you know, we, we, we as in the Brontes, we always spoke about the afterlife, about the paranormal, about angels. He says that's one of the th reasons he didn't get a lot of the, his own elders in the church didn't like him because he was open to other ideas, open to other religions, other faiths. Other, this is a faith. This is a faith. Other belief systems, and this is one of the things that concerned him with the black magic within Howarth, because actually he wanted everyone to be able to practice their faith. He said because faith is important. He's not talking about religious, any faith, religious, spiritual faith, and actually faith of light, which is cards of light, using your crystals, whatever it was. Is needed for a healthy society and not one faith fits all. You can have someone that goes to church and it's their faith and they, that they are, of, they are of the light and they are a good person. You can also have someone that goes to church that isn't. You can have someone that can practice magic and is of the light and practices good magic. You can also have someone that um, practices dark magic. Bless, a blessing for the right words. Oh, that's for J.K. Rowling. There's concerns there. How do I pick up deck? Can I pick in here? As you said, even when you reincarnate, and I've exp I've tried. I'm going to do a further video explaining how this works. That well, you've got Patrick Bronte there. You've got you talking to Anne Bronte, but you're saying she's, we can be everything. Like time is not linear. We can channel your future self, we can channel your past self. Does that make sense? Did I shuffle that? He's got concerns for JK Rowling. So, even though it's Patrick Bronte, he's still got his daughter Anne there. In spirit, he can also be concerned for the reincarnation that is JK Rowling, if that makes sense. Because we're all connected. You never stop caring despite where you're all at on your tree of life, if that makes sense. Jacob. 
feeling, feeling. I'm concerned about JK Rowling because I'll tell you why she doesn't play the game. I'm zipping it at that point. I'm going to ask you all now to put a, what, what, what should we do for, should we, do we even do anything? Because again, everything, no we don't, we don't. We just don't use the comment section as a, a, vit as a puking bucket, thank you very much. This isn't to my subscribers, this is to people that can come in. My chest is like, whew, talking about JK Rowling at the minute. Um, it's because of the comments that she said, which to be quite honest, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going there because I end up getting really controversial, but it just burning books and it's just, boom. Um, I'm hearing she meant that with the, with, see there was a lot more that was going on there. Um, oh, you can't be so can you can't. I remember once going into a pub and it was just after I'd been attacked and I was feeling quite vulnerable and I remember going to the toilets and the being mixed toilets and I had this point where I went into the toilet and I was like, I had a bit of a panic attack. And part of me wanted to go, I think I would have been with my mum and dad, part, part of me wanted to go upstairs and get whoever I was with to come, because it wasn't because I'd been raped. So I, why do I, why whisper it? Why did you whisper it? I've been raped. Anyway, algorithm, YouTube. Um, so yeah, there, there's a more, there's more, uh, there's more to what people say. And yes. And I, yeah, so, I mean, she said similar things about mixing toilets and I, I yeah. You know, we we have different bits, don't we? You know. And that's the thing, you know, when you're in a pub and you're all drunk and you've got mixed toys, it's just a seed. Seed, eh? Anyway, say my piece and I move on. <laughs> Raise yourself, Claire. Yeah. What a video this is turning out to be. Archangel Pearl Limic, let nature soothe you, serve the nature kingdom. Lord Wives Vassil, accept and send healing. You are being you are a being of the universe. He's showing me the moors now and the importance of the moors. And the importance of fresh air for creation. And being out in fresh air with the world as it is now. Because for although the world is very different to how it was then, it's very similar. We've still got the same problems. Well, we have, haven't we? We've got a cost of living, cost of living crisis. Basics, basics, basics. He says this is actually going to teach us to appreciate the basics. And going back to the basics, going back to our basics, firing up our survival, our inner survival mechanisms, machines, centres. clock <laughs> I've had some people saying the clock triggers the, not the, the, the clock irritates them it's funny because I've also had comments of people saying I love your clock it's really soothing in the video so what do I do let me know the, no, don't don't <laughs> don't let me know the comments don't um, um, I kept it up for today's video because he used to set the clock every night in the parsonage I mean, you think of it again. That is one of our simple sounds. The ticking of the clock. And actually, it's actually a really peaceful sound. 
So when you can't stand the ticking of the clock, that shows us an issue within you, not the clock. You think about the when the parsonage now, we've got a roaring fire, the crackling of the flames, the ticking of the clock, the sound of the birds outside, we've got the tinkering going on in the kitchens, we've got distant voices of people coming in and out of the parsonage. What's wrong with the clock? Nothing. Who is wanting me to do a tour of the parsonage and describe it? We'll do that in part three. See you in part three. <laughs> See you later, bye.